friends we are solving the differential equation is d cube plus 4 d times of y is equal to 5 plus sin 2x by the observation we can say the given problem is in the operator form we can say f of d into y is equal to q of x f of d into y is equal to q of x the general solution of f of d into y is equal to q of x we have y of x is equal to complementary function plus particular integral complementary function plus particular integral right first we have to find out the complementary function this is in the form of f of d into y is equal to q of x to get the complementary function we have to equate q of x as a 0 so and moreover we have to consider consider y is equal to e power mx be a solution of f of d into y is equal to 0 then we will get the axillary equation axillary equation is f of m is equal to 0 okay helping equation or axillary equation f of m is equal to 0 nothing but in place of d we will replace by m i will tell you how it is you see d cube plus 4 d into what is y you consider e power mx so this is the solution for this now you see d is nothing but what differential operator d is nothing but differential operator so first you see d cube plus d sorry d cube into e power mx plus 4 times of d e power mx is equal to 0 here you observe 3 times we are differentiating e power mx e power mx first derivative is what e power mx into m second derivative e power mx into m so m into m m square third derivative m into m square means m cube plus 4 m into e power mx is equal to 0 so you will have e power mx is a common from the above equation then you will have m cube plus 4 m into e power mx is equal to 0 e power mx is anywhere 0 never so obviously which is 0 m cube plus 4 m is equal to 0 so you observe in place of d if you are substituted then that is enough so that is the axillary equation now you tell me axillary equation what m cube plus 4 m is equal to 0 so how you got this m cube plus 4 m f of m is equal to 0 is it clear right now from this we have to find out the complementary function so which is the common term you have in these two m is a common then m square plus 4 is equal to 0 then you will get the roots m is equal to 0 m square plus 4 is equal to 0 m square is equal to you will have minus 4 then m is equal to plus r minus 2i then here you observe the roots are real no the roots are imaginary in this case you will get a complementary function one is a real is there and here you have a imaginary so for the real e power mx we have to consider so c1 e power mx mx means 0x e power 0x plus here complex roots you have whenever a plus r minus b i form is there we need to write the complementary function as e power ax into e power ax into c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx now this is a plus r minus b i form but a is here 0 only b i is there so e power e power 0 x is nothing but 1 only so no need to write here now the complementary function already c1 is over let c2 into cos bx what is b 2x plus c3 into sin 2x so this is the complementary function for the given problem simply you can also write this as complementary function is equal to c1 e power 0 is nothing but what 1 only e power 0 x is nothing but 1 only no need to write so c1 plus c2 cos 2x plus c3 sin 2x here c1 comma c2 comma c3 are arbitrarily constant suppose if they are asking this problem only find the complementary function means up to this is enough what how many arbitrary constants are there here you see 1 2 3 1 2 3 so here uh, what about the order of the differential equation 3 so if the order of differential equation is 3 then we will get 3 arbitrary constants that is okay now we need to find out the particular integral also remember friends while finding the particular integral we won't write the integral the name is integral we are doing definite integral even though we won't write the comp uh, constant there okay na? remember that now how to evaluate that one means what is mean by pi pi is nothing but particular integral that is 1 by f of d into q of x so inverse differential operator d is nothing but a differential operator then d inverse is nothing but inverse differential operator that is nothing but integration only okay this is another type of integration we are doing in this case f of d 
here f of d we have d cube plus 4d and what about the q of x q of x is 5 plus sin 2x from the problem only i am writing now you observe q of x is containing uh, some of the two terms so in this case we can separate the terms okay i am separating you see this is d cube plus 4d times of 5 plus 1 by d cube plus 4d times of sin 2x observe this is a constant and it is a sine function so you can apply directly shortcut method no need to go for general method friends moreover this 5 can i write 5 into 1 yes 5 into 1 can i write e power 0x yes e power 0x now you see shortcut method q of x is e power ax here you have a sin 2x whenever a here a q e power ax is there e power ax1 d you will replace d by a what is a here you have 0 that's it next whenever sin or cosine is there we will replace d square is equal to minus a square d square is equal to minus a square not for d for d we won't replace because derivative of sin 2x is cosine 2x into 2 but you won't get sin 2x that is the reason only first derivative we cannot apply second derivative and fourth derivative sixth derivative only we will replace anyway now we have to replace a 0 then you will have 5 by d value is 0 so 0 plus 0 into e power 0x plus 1 by in place of d square i have to write minus a square what is a here you have 2 2 square is 4 minus 4 not plus 4 remember a square we are taking negative sign for a square you are taking negative sign so here d cube is nothing but you can write as a d square into d yes so d square value what you can replace minus 2 square 2 square is 4 negative 4 minus 4d plus 4d into sin 2x here you observe what you have 5 by 0 so the denominator is you are getting 0 in this case what we have to do denominator getting 0 is nothing but there is a root if 0 is a root here generally we will let c1 e power ax na? so a is a root in this case so here also 2 is a root for this differential equation so in this case what you have to do means generally one time if it is getting 0 one time if it is getting 0 in this case you see are you getting one time Check, we will check it first what we have to write means write down numerator x and denominator you differentiate that's it denominator what i have d cube plus 4d what is the derivative 3 d square plus 4 into you have e power 0 x now you substitute first i will solve this problem later i will solve another problem okay again uh, denominator is containing d so you have to put again what d is equal to 0 whenever e power ax is there d is equal to a in place of a i have 0 so 5 x by 3 times of 0 is 0 plus 4 into e power 0 x so this is 5 x by 4 e power 0 x is nothing but 1 only so i am not writing so this is clear you see first time we are getting 0 that is why what we are doing means numerator write down x and denominator you differentiate that's that is the procedure whatever it may be q of x whenever you are getting denominator is 0 this is shortcut method we can do in another methods also we have different methods but it is a better to do okay now anyway next go for second problem in this case you see 1 by minus 4d plus 4d this is also getting 0 so what we will do in this case numerator you write on x and denominator you differentiate what is the derivative of 3 uh, d cube d cube derivative is 3d square plus 4d derivative is 4 into 1 4 only into what I have sin 2x sin 2x so in place of here you see sin is there in place of d square what you have to replace minus a square what is a here you have so 2 square is nothing but negative 4 we need to write now you substitute here then what i will get x by 3 times of minus 4 plus 4 into sin 2x plus 3 uh, sorry x by minus 12 plus 4 is nothing but what minus 8 into sin 2x if you are simplified then you will have 5x by 4 minus x by 8 sin 2x is the particular integral and the general solution of the given differential equation is y of x is equal to complementary function plus particular integral friends are you understood this one just i have replaced d square by minus 4 then 3 times of minus 4 is minus 12 plus 4 minus 8 why you are uh, writing numerator x means whenever the denominator is uh, become 0 that time we need to write the numerator x and denominator we are differentiating that's it now this is another method i am doing general method is we have a different formulas we can go for any type of the method right complementary function we have c1 plus c2 cos 2x 
plus c3 sin 2x this is complementary function plus particular integral is 5x by 4 minus x by 8 sin 2x friends you see even though this is the integral but we are not writing the complementary function here already we have okay sorry here there is no c we are writing even though if you are written or not written there is no changes that's it is it clear for everyone thank you for watching this video